have my own travel channel and I thought I've never done this kind of sit down chat and explain how was I able to move to another country when I was 15 years old. I think what helped me a lot when I was 15 is that for starters, it was my idea from the beginning and I was asking my dad to do so for entire two years and he was saying no all the time. And then it came as a surprise that I'm moving and I was extremely happy. Then I just boarded the plane and well, moved to Canada. At that time, I wanted to go to the United States, but that didn't happen. So it was a great compromise. I been there for entire seven years and no regrets. I remember I was supervised on the plane. Not that it was a requirement, but it was a very nice service. It was almost like a VAP treatment. They lead you to the plane and then they pick you up from the plane. Everything is taken care of. In airport, I was greeted by my host family which was a requirement because I wasn't 18 at that time. I was 15, so I had to live with someone else. They were of Filipino origin, as I remember, extremely friendly, and they were taking care of everything that I would prefer not to do at that age. So they were cooking meals for me, they were doing my laundry. There were certain rules that I still had to abide by being in that family, but it was set by my school and most of them were pretty reasonable, something like a curfew that you have to be home by 10 o'clock and that's pretty much it. I think I had even less rules being in Canada in that family than being in Russia in my own family. So I still remember you can still bring uh, friends over as long as it's usually with girls and you notify your family in advance. Overall, the host family experience was one of the best things because you get to know the other culture and you also get to know the Canadian culture right away while living with this family. Also, in terms of actually being culturally shocked, that didn't happen to me because Canada is such a multicultural country. When I came there, there were actually so many people that were so excited to hear my story and how did I get there when I was 15. Because a lot of people, to be honest, is looking at me as if I'm this little, innocent, small girl and they're all excited to hear my story and my previous life in Russia. So I met so many Russian people right away and I didn't have any trouble of making friends because everyone was almost in the same position as me as I was going to international school. So everyone departed from their families and came to Canada to make new friends, to get this cool experience. And so everyone was so friendly and so open to meet each other. If I can just say that was the best experience in my entire life. And this international experience made me grow up so fast. And I feel like that's because of how intense and how quick the change was in a certain point of time. I still remember maybe four months in, I woke up and I was thinking about the previous life that I had and I couldn't relate to that anymore. I was thinking that, that I'm independent, I can do so many things by myself, I have entire new circle of friends and I have this like new family and I can just do whatever I have in mind with my life. And that was such an empowering thought that made me the person that I am today. And I'm actually right now in the UK. That's my second move to another country after being seven years in Canada. I'm doing my master's here. I also would love to address all the worries that the parents of these kids who are going abroad might have. And I totally understand how intimidating it could be to send your child, especially when she or he is 15, to another country with a new set of rules and laws. But I feel like as long as you do trust your child to do good and as long as your child is responsible in the country that she or he is living right now, she or he is gonna do great when she's abroad because it's gonna be such a fulfilling experience for her or for him and it's just gonna formulate an entire new person. But there were several people who were actually deported because of the drugs or abusing alcohol or just breaking the rules over and over again. 
but you just have to do something so stupid and so wrong to get deported because even if you are let's say not showing up in house by 10 you're there by 11 or even next morning but you called your family so stuff like that but as long as your child was not exposed to that in a big amount or she or he has great discipline she's gonna be fine she's gonna be better than fine she's gonna be great i really advise this kind of experience for anyone and for everyone who can actually afford it because this experience isn't cheap um i had to pay international fees and i had to pay so much money for my health insurance so as long as you budget it right and you trust your child and if you're the person who wants to move abroad if you trust yourself that you're gonna be fine then you are gonna be fine you're gonna be great